there, and welcome to Silver Screen Style. My name is Laura, and here on this channel I recreate the iconic styles of the silver screen. But I use modern street clothes and vintage reproduction clothing. Today I am thrilled to be recreating some of the most glamorous looks in cinema history, and those are the outfits from the movie Pillow Talk. Now, of course, Pillow Talk is a Doris Day and Rock Hudson movie, but it also features Tony Randall and Thelma Ritter. Now, Bill Thomas was the costume designer for the movie, but those gorgeous and breathtaking gowns worn by Doris Day were created by none other than Jean-Louis. So let's get started and take a look at those indulgent fashions from the romantic comedy from 1959, Pillow Talk. The 1959 Pillow Talk was the first of three movies Rock Hudson and Doris Day would star together, and for the part of Jan, Doris would receive her one and only Best Actress Oscar nomination. The movie revolves around a party line, where interior designer Jan has to share a phone number with Playboy songwriter Brad, played by Rock Hudson. Now, as I mentioned before, Ms. Day's gowns were designed by the legendary Jean-Louis. And because of his work on the film, many regard Pillow Talk to be one of the most influential movies ever made in regard to fashion. But the reason being is that these styles were extremely modern and lavish, and yet at the same time attainable. I love you. Her style, combined with her effortless charm and independent woman persona, catapulted Doris Day to role model status for women everywhere. You are my inspiration, Eileen. I do hate to interrupt, but do you mind hanging up? Who's that? Annoyed by Brad constantly hogging the phone line by talking to his various girlfriends, Jan files a complaint to the phone company before heading to work in this outfit. As you can see, it's a vivid royal blue dress suit with a single-breasted bolero-style jacket with three-quarter length sleeves. She accessorizes the look with black gloves, black heels, and a black fur hat. Now the first piece to recreate this look was the blue dress suit. I used this Anne Klein sheath dress with matching three-quarter sleeve jacket. I paired it with black pumps. Then of course my favorite piece, the black faux fur hat from Amazon. Can't forget the black gloves. Now this jacket was originally designed to be open, so I added two buttons to create the same silhouette. The next outfit in this lookbook is probably the most famous in the movie, as it was even the inspiration for the Doris Day Pillow Talk Barbie doll. After attending a client's housewarming party and fending off the drunken advances of her client's son, Brad sees just what's on the other end of his party line. Now, 
Knowing Jan would never be interested in him if she knew who he was, he decides to become Rex Stetson from Texas. Yeehaw! Reckon it got a mite too close in here for your partner. Now, Jan's dress is an ankle-length, curve-hugging shift dress with a low back. The dress is accessorized with a jade and diamond brooch, white opera gloves, and a white mink shrug. To recreate this look, I found this white sheath dress from White House Black Market. It doesn't have as plunging of a back as Jan's, but I think it comes fairly close. I then attached a jade and rhinestone brooch that I got from Etsy. Of course, you need the white opera gloves, and I topped it off with a faux fur white shrug from Amazon. Wiggle dresses boomed in popularity thanks to Pillow Talk, and they quickly became wardrobe staples in Doris Day movies. Enchanted by his sweet southern charm, Jan begins to date Rex, aka Brad. Cue the dating montage! In the next outfit, Jan is stunning in green. I love this emerald satin trapeze coat with Puritan collar. She removes it to show a matching green gown with spaghetti straps. I just love the dress being paired with turquoise jewelry. For this look, I found this green satin strapless dress from NDXO. All I did was add spaghetti straps. All that was left was to add the turquoise jewelry, and I wore the same tan heels from before. Things are going pretty well for Rex and Jan. And so when Rex invites her to go away for the weekend, Jan eagerly accepts. This next outfit might be the most timeless. Jan looks positively cozy in this cream sweater roll neck dress, completed with a pretty snowflake brooch. This is a fairly easy look to recreate with modern fashions. The cow neck sweater dress came with a tie belt. I added a snowflake brooch that I got from Etsy and of course finished the look with the same tan shoes.
course, it's in this outfit that things turn south in Jan and Rex's relationship. for 60 miles now. I, I know it. Well, don't you think it's about time you start? The final outfit I'll be recreating is probably my favorite. And if you've seen Charade, which was filmed four years later, it might look a little familiar. Jan wears a gorgeous red swing coat with matching red skirt, accessorized with a fabulous leopard print hat and hand muff. The bottom layer is the red pencil skirt. Then I added this gorgeous red coat that I got from Amazon. Can't forget the leopard muff, which I found on Etsy. And the bucket hat I got from Doll's Kill. Same shoes, you know the drill. So which look was your favorite? Please let me know in the comments. I really love all of the colors and elegance of these outfits. Plus, I think I've discovered an affinity for faux fur hats. If you enjoyed this lookbook, please let me know by giving this video a like. And please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future uploads. Well, cheers to another episode of Silver Screen Style. That's it for me. I'll see you next time as I recreate more styles from the silver screen. Bye.